Hi everyone, we're at InfoSec World in Orlando, Florida. It is lunchtime. Can you can you smell it? It's like right next to me. Everyone's lining up for lunch. But I'm here with Catherine Teitler, who runs the speaking uh, and all of the content here at the show. Yes. I like to think of her as like one of us hackers. <laughs> She's very much involved with the community and has gotten uh, our community involved with this event very much so, which we're very appreciative of. Uh, I love it because we do more and more with InfoSec World every year. Yay! So it'll be interesting what we do next year because we're going to do something Oh, we more. have ideas. Oh, good. We oh, have good. ideas. Uh, so I'm just going to, uh, Catherine, ask uh, a few questions about you. Like, Sounds how did good. you get your start in this wonderful world of security? It was kind of an accident, to be honest with you. I started out many, many years ago in sales. And over my sales careers... I ended up in technology, then I ended up at a research firm where I was sm selling to small and medium-sized businesses, and about 50 to 60% of all of my clients were security vendors. Mm. And so... Security through osmosis. <laughs> security through osmosis. Ended up going on a whole bunch of consulting gigs with the security analyst started thinking, this is kind of interesting, this is kind of cool, and I get it. I completely understand it. And fast forward a couple of years, I ended up at a research firm. I was in sales, but an opportunity opened up to start writing and developing content and working more closely with speakers, and I've been stuck here ever since. Very good. Well, we're, we're glad for that. What's the most challenging part of your uh, career today? running a uh, security conference. Well, not the entire conference, but not a huge portion and running Thank all the speakers. Thank goodness I have colleagues who <laughs> do logistics and lunch yes. and the show floor here. My hardest challenge is speaker wrangling. Mm -hmm. For InfoSec World, we have 122 speakers. Wow. And everybody has a different topic and everybody has a day job and everybody has different backgrounds and experiences mm -hmm. and getting everybody all the information they need in a format that they can consume it. And often they don't, to be honest. People miss emails, they miss updates, and just getting everybody here to have... They don't submit their slides. They don't submit their slides. Sometimes they cancel at the last minute if they get sick. And it's just a challenge because you're working with 122 individuals, but I'm also planning other conferences at the same time. Right, right. Now, do you have a backup list of speakers, or maybe you will after this conference? <laughs> maybe I will after this conference. <laughs> I've been very fortunate that I've gotten to know a lot of people in the industry who are helpful and kind and nice, and when I send out a text or an email saying, I need help, I need help. people, people respond. People yeah. respond. Oh, so good. this morning we had a last-minute cancellation. I texted three people, one person responded back. We met five minutes later. He texted his colleague. We got a replacement speaker for our Thursday workshop. So oh, that's good. It's just using the network, and, and I think the community is pretty open and friendly, and I think people really do want to help. So for me, that's been incredibly important. What is, uh, in your home, what's the most favorite piece of technology or... Maybe a technology you implemented and all of your hacker friends are like, oh, you should be frightened of that. Well, I'm a little bit of a Luddite because all of my hacker friends are like, don't do that. Don't do that. And so I'm scared of putting in too much because I can't set up my own DNC. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to segment my home network. I have friends. Maybe I could buy them dinner. <laughs> they um, live pretty close. In, we live near close Boston. enough. We have good restaurants. <laughs> um, I just got solar panels, mm -hmm. which is really exciting. Oh, but cool. I'm trying to figure out how to segment them off of everything else. Um, that's not like a cool and fun, flashy technology. Honestly, no, it is. No, my car is the coolest thing because it has just like Craig Smith was talking about this morning. And there's a little computer in there. When I get texts from Michael Santarcangelo on my way home, my car reads them to me. And that's pretty awesome because then I don't have to wait an hour to read Michael's texts. Right. And that Michael's makes, texts are very important. They are so important. <laughs> what is your favorite uh, hacker movie or TV show? I am such a Mr. Robot junkie. Oh, good. And that's your fault. <laughs> we met for lunch about a year and a half ago. Oh, and yeah. you were going on about it. And I'm like, uh, you know, I'll, 
I binge watched the whole season in two weekends that first very nice. season, very and nice. now I'm like, when is it coming back? <laughs> very nice, Catherine. Thank you very much. Thank you.